Hey, what's good, viewer? This is Spanky. Today I've got the Marvel Legend Infinite Series X Men, and we got Magneto. We'll zoom in there. A little zoom in action. He comes in with the Jubilee arm. That's oh, that's such a little build of figure piece. That's crazy. Um, I'm just laughing because I just opened up the Hulk build a figure and all that, and it's just funny how small they made the uh, build a figures just a while ago. Not quite as small as a mini, but still pretty small. If you want to pause that and read that, that's fine. And there's all that down there. The rest of the figures in the series. I'll be redoing a review of a few of them, but not all of them. And I'm pretty sure this was a TRU exclusive, only found at Toys R Us. I'm almost positive. At least that's what my Storm said, and that's pretty much what I remember. These came out in 2014, so my memory's a little bit shoddy. And regardless if it was a TRU exclusive or not, you're only going to be able to find it on eBay now or Amazon. So you're only going to find it secondhand, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Anyways, let's open it up. Let's take a look at the paint apps and mold of Magneto here. His face came out looking pretty good. He does look like an old dude. His eyes came out pretty well, especially compared to the figures we've been getting nowadays. Uh, I'm not a big fan of whatever that is on his helmet. I kind of wish that it was the helmet without that little tiara piece on there. That's what it looks like to me. I, just, I don't know if that's comic accurate or not, but I don't like it. Um, his cape is not shaded at all. It's all just a flat purple. There's no dark purples in there. Although the lighting may look like it is, but it's not. It's all just one flat purple. His cape should come off. It's just a peg hole in the back. Probably best to take off his head while doing it. Let me get a look at the back here. Kind of disappointed by the fact that the red is showing through the purple there on his back as you can see. Um, a little bit here on his neck as well, it's showing through. That's about the only parts where it does that, and that's because there's a lot of little crannies there in Hasbro. Whoever does the paint, the little kids they probably have doing the paint, or I don't know, I'm trying to make a stupid joke, so I'm going to stop. But anyways, they always do that with all their figures. They did do a little muscular, or ribs right here, that's some pretty nice detail. I'm not sure what other figure has this mold. It's not a bad mold at all, though. Except for his bicep. <laughs> what the heck? Whose bicep is that big? Oh my gosh. That's freaking huge. That is so unrealistic. Look at the way it sticks out. I I'm not a big fan of the bicep. It doesn't even match the chest. His biceps are bigger than his chest muscles. That's just freaking <laughs> crazy. His hands. He's got an open hand there. He's got a fisted hand. His gauntlets came out looking pretty good. I'm not a big fan of the fact that the red is a little bit darker than everything else but maybe that's a part of the design but it is two different shades of red and at least the red down here matches the gauntlet so I'm gonna say they meant to do that we'll give them a pass on that we do see some shading right here and on the thighs which is real nice I wish Hasbro would uh, do that a little bit more often and show a little bit more love to their characters and you know give us some shading give us some paint detail you know he is wearing his underwear on the outside. We got a belt here. It moves just a tad bit. And then we look at his boots real quick, which I do like. Magneto's head will look down that far. It'll go back that far. It will do the 360 exorcist. And keep in mind that he doesn't have his cape on, so of course when he has a cape on, we might get a little bit less articulation, especially here on the arms. He can look down this far. He can look back that far. His helmet kind of hinders that articulation. And speaking of hinder articulation, please keep in mind that his cape is off. So, especially here on the arms, with the cape on, it will be hindered. we got an upper bicep swivel there, double jointed elbow. Uh, what's this? Forearm swivel. <laughs> and then absolutely no articulation in the hands. Very interesting. No articulation in the hands. But we do get forearm swivels. whoop you freaking do Ab crunch, you can look down that far, you can go back that far. Legs or are on a uh, old ball joint. We don't see these much anymore, they're Hasbro figures. These are the ones that you kind of have to turn the joint and then move them up and then turn it if you want it to go to the outside. They do give good range of motion, but they are a pain in the buns to deal with. 
Yeah. So if you know what I'm talking about, I don't have another figure right next to me at the second to compare. But they are, they don't, Hasbro doesn't do these joints anymore. They've moved on for the most part. We get an upper thigh swivel here. Double jointed knee. I don't know why my camera does not want to uh, cooperate with me. And then he goes back that far. He goes and he does the calf swivel. And we get the ankle rocker on a ball joint and the hinge. Overall, this is a pretty good figure. I'm going to recommend it. I do like the way it came out. Other than that massive bicep, the mold looks pretty freaking awesome. Oh, also, there's no wrist articulation, which is kind of a big negative. I do like that they added some shading right here in the thighs and stuff, and a little bit in the chest. I wish they would bring that kind of love back to our Marvel Legends and give us a little bit more detail like that. Uh, but yeah, it's a pretty good figure. I'm not sure what the Toy Biz version looks like, but this, I think you'd be really happy with this. It is a bit of a newer version, so it has a little bit, you know, newer technology when it comes to joints and stuff like that. Other than that, check out Big Bad Toy Store in the description below for all your toy needs. Thanks for watching another one of my reviews. Stay tuned, because I'll have more, of course. Until next time, peace out.